Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. Today's video is part one of two of bringing Dragonfly into the 590 class. We did go out and do some testing. I'm going to edit that video and get it out to you guys, but it didn't go exactly as planned. She's quick, but she's not as quick as I wanted her to be, so we're going to step the power up a little bit. We've done some suspension changes, a few other things in order to try and improve it, and so far we're making leaps and bounds. First and foremost, though, we need more power. Not a lot. Really, not a lot. We're going to step up. We've been at a 40 shot of nitrous, and it's been fogging the box. We're going to step up to a spray bar, progressive, 80 shot, and probably cut it short at like a 60, because it's about all I really need is about 20 more horsepower. I need to shave about a tenth. Uh, the rest of it I should be able to lose in the suspension changes I've made, so on and so forth, and a little bit of experience in the 60 foot. Bring that power in right away rather than after first gear, and just ramping it should make all the difference in the world. So stick with me, we're gonna get through this video. Next video on this will be Junior doing the install this weekend. So hope you enjoy it. All right guys, so now we're down to the skeleton. I can kind of explain my budget nature system I've been running. So you'll see all these speaker wires. That is because I went stupid cheap on the underglow because it was supposed to be a ricer look and it actually looks pretty good. So I'll probably wind up getting a proper LED underlight kit and getting rid of all that crap. Uh, so my nitrous consists, we'll go from the bottle back. You get the bottle under the hump feeding through the solenoid. The solenoid is triggered by one of these relays. When one relay tricks, trips, both of them trip. One relay is going over here to map switch the other relay is coming out to the solenoid. They are run off of, I believe, positive power coming from, yeah, positive power coming from the flash switch. Back to here, and then it goes to ground. So what I will be doing is taking that wire that's feeding that relay, right here, and I'll be using that same relay, but I'll be wiring it up to the purge solenoid that we're gonna be installing. This solenoid's gonna be moving. The other map switch relay is going to stay the same, but instead of tripping at the same time with that, we're probably going to trigger it with the output because I won't have a button anymore. So we'll have the output from the controller controlling that, and ignition retard output or whatever you want to use it for. It's just an output, 12 volts. So we'll use that to trigger that relay to tell the power commander to switch because the power commander wants to see 5 volts, not 12, so we got to leave it into it itself. Uh, Coming down the line, yeah, this is ghetto line, it's too short. That was the biggest issue I had. I went a foot longer on this line so I can route it more appropriately. We go to a nitrous outlet distribution block. This is a four port distribution block. We only use two. And from there, it loops around, comes up either side. Go over this side so you can show you. And comes into a 90 degree nozzle, which sprays into the ear box from the ram tube. This was great for a nice soft hit on the street, but it's not predictable. The hit hits different every time. Sometimes it hits fairly aggressively, sometimes it's really mellow. It's all a matter of how it wants to flow through that air box. We're eliminating that, that with all these alterations. Now Junior will be doing all of the install. I wanna walk him through it and explain how it goes. But first, I wanna clean up the spaghetti I have going here. I wanna get all my power commander wiring nice and neat. I wanna get all this spaghetti crap that I got for the underglow. As neat as possible, it's probably gonna stay spaghetti crap, to be honest. But I like to get a fuse in it, because I'm not fused. And get rid of some of this BS on the battery. So, that's the next thing I'm gonna do here. We're gonna strip it down, get it down to where we need it to be for Junior to do his install. Because I don't want him to have to deal with my mess that I made in that shit. Alright guys, so my battery's dying, but I have settled on right here for the location for the controller. So hopefully that works out pretty slick. It makes all the connections real nice and short and neat and tidy. I only got one connection going to the front for uh, engine RPM, but I should be able to tie that in back here at the ECU, make that a whole lot easier. We'll do a plug and play connection there. Yep, we're moving forward. Uh, next video, or next portion of this video, will be Junior doing his install. 
I'm going to teach him how to do all the connections and show him how the nitrous system works. He needs to know if he's going to use it, right? Hang on. Here we go.